putting it together. Watch where you step, Rolly. You don't want to fall into the boiling hot lava. Oh, be extra careful. Ow. Hey there, puppy dog players. It's Bob. Hey, Bob. Who's ready for a unicycle day? <laughs> I know I am. You know I... Where's my unicycle? I remember the last time Bob tried to ride that unicycle. Hey, guys! Look what I just got! A unicycle! Cool! Are you okay? Uh, where did Bob go? <laughs> what was I thinking? But now he does want to see it again. Maybe I can find my unicycle after I get home from work. Then I can ride it around and say, Look! I'm riding a unicycle! Uh, me neither. So it's gonna be our mission to find out where it is. Come on! Watch out for hot lava! On your bar. <laughs> Let's go! Where are we gonna go to start trying to remember where we buried Bob's unicycle? We should check with KG. He sees everything out the window of the pet store where he lives. Come help me get what I want! <laughs> That day, it was the same day I got this new exercise. Well, you guys should run there real fast, like this. Go, go! <sighs> Maybe not quite so fast. <laughs> when you guys were here. You said you were on your way to the beach to bury something, but I never saw what it was. How deep do we gotta go? As deep as it takes to finish our mission. I dig, 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 digging all through the sand. Hey, Jonathan. If you remembered where we buried something, why didn't you tell us where we buried it? Well, because you never asked. Well, we're supposed to be two dogs finding Bob's unicycle. Well, I don't know if this helps, but that day you were here when you left, you said you were going to see another friend. That does help, because I just remember where we were going. Do you remember where we buried at Bullworth? Hey, this junkyard dog remembers everything. I got a mind like a steel trap. Well, because the mountain wasn't there until they put those plastic bottles there this morning, they're taking them away to recycle them tomorrow afternoon. But Bob wants to ride his unicycle today. And it ain't it can be fun and fall. Yeah, I guess you're right. A little puppy power. It's got to do the job. <laughs> what? That mountain doesn't look any smaller than when we started. Then there's only one thing left to do. Not a unicycle. Yeah, it's just some round thingamajig. Although it rolls pretty well for just being a thingamajig. Can we take it home to play with? I guess so, because it doesn't look like we're going to find Bob's unicycle. I thought you were supposed to be digging up a unicycle. We thought so, too. But all we found was a hat and a metal stick and a thingamajig. Did you find Bob's unicycle? No. All we dug up was this. We really wanted to find what Bob wanted, but we didn't do it. Hey there, puppy. <laughs> oh, I've been looking forward to seeing you two all day. And look at that. You found my unicycle. We did? Let's see. This goes... Yeah, because I just remembered something else about the day when we buried it. So we'll absolutely for sure never see them again. That's a great idea. I know we're getting rid of almost all of it, but can we keep these blocks? Yeah, they'll be perfect for when we play hot lava. This is fun. <laughs> Whoa. We should tell Bob to look out. Look out for what? He's riding in hot lava! Puzzling puzzle! Oh, I know. I mean, not that I play with it or anything. <laughs> right here. Yes! <laughs> it fits! Bob uses the picture on the puzzle box to help show him how to put it together. That's a strange looking spotty kitty. Ooh! Excuse Arf Rolly. Arf must finish vacuuming up all this leftover kibble. Oh, no! How will I ever finish the puzzle without the picture of the leopard to help? Then look at that. Oh, it's time for work. Arf feels bad for ruining your puzzle box. 
And I feel bad that Bob is sad. So all we need to do is find him a new leopard. Easy, we just go to the... Where do leopards live? Find a leopard for Bob so we can finish his puzzle. Arf must warn you, leopards are big cats and they can be hard to find. And I do like to be alone and hide in high places. And you're a cat, like you just said. Since you said, oh please, oh please, oh please. Woohoo! Yeah! Let's go! You just said that, didn't you? So... Wait, those aren't leopards, they're... Why do I bother? I never knew leopards ate leaves. Howdy down there, puppies. I'm Barry. Barry the giraffe. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I'm Bingo. I'm gonna climb that tree and see if I can get a better view to search for one. Ooh, sorry, I I'll help you down there. Whoa! <gasps> we just got here, and already you're a mess. We can't see. Well, I can help with that. Hop on. Woohoo! Come on, Hissy. Yeah. Oh, look over there. It looks like a watering hole. Cool. If I were a leopard, I would go there too. It doesn't hurt to try. I'm pretty hungry from traveling halfway around the world. Thanks, Barry the giraffe. Yeah, thanks, Barry. Look at all this mud. This might be the best swimming pool ever. Oh, I'm gonna play in that mud like I've never played before. Uh, excuse me, have you by any chance seen a leopard around here? You know, the kind you find on a jigsaw puzzle box? Do you know where the leopard is now? Like all leopards, this fella is a pretty hard cat to find. His spots help him blend into the trees where he lives. Let's follow those paw prints and find that leopard so Bob can finish his puzzle. Wait for me! Roar! I don't see him. That's ah. because his spots help him blend in. It makes him hard to see. Oh. Aha! Of course, follow me. <laughs> Quietly. Take your appetite for noisy things and deny it. We need to be quiet. I know it won't come easily, but just try it. We need to be quiet. Whisper when you talk. What? I can't hear you. I know it won't come easily, but just try it. So now that we found where he lives, where is he? He must have heard us. Hey, my favorite cat toy. How did that get here? I forgot. I brought it in case I felt the urge to play with it. <laughs> I just love funny noises. <laughs> oh, oh, if you squeeze it down lower, it sounds even funnier. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Leopard? <laughs> oh, please call me Titus. Well, Mr. Titus. We really need a leopard. Right, Rolly? Rolly? I'm right here, Bingo. I got stuck again. Look at his fur. It's so stained that he almost looks like a leopard cub. Me? A leopard? Cool! Come on, guys. We gotta get back home so Bob can finish his puzzle. Of course not. And thank you for helping us out on our mission. Yes! <laughs> That's the last piece of the puzzle. I did it. But thank goodness you did, because you look just like a little spotted leopard. <laughs> Your own squeaky toy. Arf, come help me get the bath going. Maybe we can share it? I don't know, guys. I'm doing just... <laughs> <laughs> Monster hissy? Yeah, be a shark monster. I don't want to be a shark monster. We're pretending we're surfers and we need you to be the shark monster. <sighs> ah, it's a shark monster! Stay away from the shark monster, Rolly! Hey, Bob! <laughs> we like seeing you too, Bob. We were pretending to surf and... <laughs> and rough, rough to you guys too. I would love to feel that sand on my toes someday. Hmm. Hope you guys find something fun to do while I'm not here. 
Could be a bit noisy all day. Did you hear what Bob said? Just barely. That leaf floor really is noisy. You and I are going on a mission. Let's go! <laughs> Let's go! We should take some dog biscuits with us for the airplane ride. Good thing Bob invented these collars for us to put stuff in. To Hawaii. I think we figured it out. I hope whoever's flying this plane doesn't make it do loop de loops, cause that hurts my tummy. Oh, Frank. <laughs> and aloha to you, little puppies. I was talking about that thing around your neck. It's a lay. And so is this. Rolly. I hope I don't get sunburned, because that hurts my tummy. Come on! The beach is where all the sand is. <laughs> and it's exactly what I need to chase crabs on. <laughs> this thing just got personal. We need something big that flies. Like a big fly? Bigger and flyer. So let's get to work. Uh, no, I mean, wait! Oh, no. We need a boat! I knew that shock would come in handy. And ship, but I've got a crab to catch. Broly, we came here to get sand for Bob's toes. Not chase everything that's crawling on the beach. Uh, I'm floating. We're both floating. In the ocean! Yeah, we four-leggers are gonna ride the next wave. And whoever surfs the best wins a trophy. But we've never surfed for real before. Grab that wave and head for the shore. Keep your eyes on the ocean and your boss on the board. If you forget to wait, just give it a shot. Two doggies won the surfing contest. First place. <laughs> and we still need something to put it in. <laughs> I'm gonna find you, Krabby. Bob's gonna be so happy when he sees all the sand for his toes. We should celebrate by eating those dog biscuits I put in our collars. Yeah. All we have to do is get this inside and... What's happening? It's the gardener's leaf blower. It's pulling all the sand away. We have all the sand we need. All over the two of us. Shake, but not till Bob gets home. Come on. Let's see. There were no little puppies around to almost run me over, or wake me up from my nap, or beg me to be a shark monster until I finally said okay. I've been looking forward to seeing you all day. Whoa, what'd you two get into? <laughs> Oh, actually, that feels really good. Like what the beach must feel like in Hawaii. <laughs> go, dog, go! I spy something colorful and posty. Is it that fence? Is it Bob and Arf? It's Bob and Arf! Bob! Bob! Hey, guys! Check out what I did to Arf! <laughs> I've programmed Arf to take you anywhere you want to go. So let's see if he works. Take my little puppy passengers all the way around the yard and to their dog house. <laughs> so Arf needs to stay dry. That was the most fun we ever had getting to our dog house ever. Where else would Bingo and Rolly like Arf to take them today? Let's go! Arf loves to go zoom zoom really fast. Oh, and look! I spy Keiji! 
Art has arrived. Hey there, puppy dog. Kate. I enjoy the view. Bob made Art to take us anywhere we want to go, and we came to see you. Yeah, I see that. Where do you think we should have him take us next? Arf has never been to a beach, but Arf would love to go. Think how great it would feel to put your paws in that one. Okay then, Arf, take us to the beach. For sure, dudes. That's how dudes talk at the beach. Then take us there. Can out my tongue so I can taste the air. How's the taste? Not bad. Run down the road on a robot motorbike. I spy something green and pointy, and really tippy tolly too. I spy something windy. Whoa, that's extra super windy. Hey, that wave came in and took our paws away with it. No, it didn't. Oh, there they are. I wish Bob was here to enjoy this with us. That's a new one. I've never heard that sound before. Come on, Arf. Let's get out of the water and get back to Bob's house. It's because of the water Arf put his paws in. It really did make Arf go... <laughs> and now, Arf does not remember. Hello, Seagull. I am Arf, which stands for Auto Doggy Robotic Friend. Well, I'm Jonathan, which stands for Jonathan. Home, sweet home, hey, home, home. Jonathan, we wanted you to take us back to our home, not yours. Oh, well, in that case, I don't know where that is. Rolly, that's a great idea. If you can remember all the things you I spied on the way getting here, Jonathan can fly around and see them and show us the way back. So let's go. Let's see. Green and pointy. But this isn't the right kind of green and pointy thing that I spied. It isn't? Um, Ow! Do you remember spying anything else, Rolly? I present to you something windy. Jonathan, this isn't what I spied either. The windy thing that I saw was a different kind of winding. Arf can take you down the mountain. Then on your bark? Get set? Go! I wait for him! <laughs> That's better. Nice. There we go. Do you remember I spying a gas station at the bottom of a mountain? Thanks, Arf. But we still have to get home. And we still don't know how to get there. Maybe if you remember anything else you spied, I can fly around until I see it. Which means we need to follow that truck. It means Arf needs to follow that truck. So here Arf goes. <laughs> Arf has arrived! And so is Cage's food! Come on, Arf. We know the way from here, so you can follow us. Arf is ready and set to follow you, so let's go! But you got back, because Rolly remember what he spied. Yeah, but all that remembering has worn this puppy out. <sighs> but I'm glad you're right here, because I'd really miss you if you ever weren't. Arf spies Bob and his best friends. Arf, Arf! <laughs> we went to the mountains! 